Okay, so our next piece of news is quickly add events to Google Calendar based on your email with Gemini in Gmail. In addition to asking Gemini and Gmail to perform calendar related actions or answer questions about your calendar, you can now add an event to your calendar directly from an email. With this update, Gemini will automatically detect calendar related content in your email and an add to calendar button will appear. Hmm. Oh yeah, we can see that at the top here. Let's scroll in a bit. Add to button. Add to calendar button. Upon clicking this option, the side panel in Gmail will open to confirm the event has been added to your calendar with a notification here. All right, let's give this a whirl. So what I'm going to do on the right hand side is just create a email from one account. So I'll oh, say go into mail. Let's uh, compose. There it is. And we'll, we'll send a message to this account here. So mail to receive it. Pesta. Get rid of all these. Needed. Needed. Okay. Uh, so we'll say dates for our meeting. Hi, great to hear from you uh, let's let's meet on Monday uh, calendar let's go calendar Monday what Monday 24th of March 24th March 2025 at 10 a.m. Oh, 10 zero I am at the stuff your face cheese factory cheese cafe cool see you then okay so we've got in our message I've currently got a date and a time. Uh, let's put a duration. So we should be there for two hours. Okay, we'll hit send. I know you can't see this at the moment, but you will in a second. Let's hit send. Pink. All right. There it is. Dates for our meeting. Let's open it, see if it happens. Let's summarize this email. But we haven't yet got. Hmm. There's no add to calendar, right? I wonder. See, they didn't even put a date down. They said this Tuesday, 9 a.m. in their sample. Let's see if we can do it from the Gemini side. Uh, and we'll say, add a calendar a schedule. This time in my calendar. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if I have to do it the other way around and it hasn't caught up to this account. So no, it worked in my other account yesterday. Maybe we add a summarize and it'll go, Hey, we've got a date here. 
uh, schedule this to my calendar. Please. There we go. I didn't use the magic word. That's clearly what the solution was. Didn't say please. I'm sorry, Overlord Gemini. Okay, so it says now we've got the 10 a.m. to 11. So it missed the two hour period here, didn't it? So let's expand this out a bit here. So we didn't get this uh, button appearing. Perhaps it didn't recognize it from the information we were providing. But I mean, the sample was very rudimentary as well. Now let's make sure this is in our calendar event. I added the event, meet Scott Donald to your calendar event. Let's go and have a squizzy. Okay, so that's in the calendar event. It's at the correct time. It's on the Monday the 24th. Good. The only mistake it's made is the duration, which should have been two hours. Uh, let's ask it. What's the duration for this meeting? Okay, so it knows it's two hours, but it only scheduled an hour. So why did you make the calendar event for only one hour? Yes. How you want to change this event? <laughs> just a just all oh, just a dream. It was me who actively wanted to change. Thank you for your digital gaslighting. Hey, <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay, you want to change this a bit? Do you want to go ahead and change it right now? As a yes, I do. Okay, I left everything the same. I mean, needs work? I think it needs work. So I'd have to change that manually. Not great. One thing I did discover was that we could also use a PDF. So maybe now we know this is successful. Uh, let's put this in a document over here. So I'll add this in. Just give me one second while I build this. A few moments later. We'll say uh, the date will be from uh, the same date, but the times will be later. So from 2 p.m. So we'll go 1400 to 1800. 6 p.m. At the So uh, three pancake way battered in I don't know dual D four one 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 that'll do making things up and we'll just export that so uh, yeah that's fine. Download that bad boy as a PDF. Now we've got the PDF. We'll put that in an email. Okay, so just attach that as an that PDF as an email. Same recipient is tester. Subject. Party. Time. Uh, please see attach it. Or more information. Okay, send. Okay, back to our inbox. G 
cheeky little refresh. Have a sip of cuppa. Proudly brought to you by Buy Me a Co Buy Me a Coffee, which has been nice to get a few donations. Okay, party time. Awesome. Here we go here. So again, we didn't get the button. That's okay. A little bit more complex here. Now we've got a PDF, which says your party event. Happy time is 24th of March, 2025. Times now uh, from two to six. So we've got four hours and we've got a, an address here. See if they'll put that in. So we'll say, um, please using, using the PDF attached. Please schedule this event. Ensure you have the correct period and add the address. As I'm typing this, I'm just going, hmm, something like this, I could probably do myself just as quickly as typing in a prompt. But anyway, let's go Gemini, good luck. Oh, it looks great though. We got the times correct this time. I scheduled the event, let's go to our calendar. We can see it's been added in. There's an offset for that one, 10. Yeah, don't worry about this. There's, there's a bit of an offset with the calendar uh, time here. This is uh, me doing some weirdness. Um, so it should be correct. But it does say uh, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And it has, oh, sorry, this uh, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. And it's got the address here and location. So if we go back here, that should come up with the address is in the right spot as well. And it's just been offset because I have some offset for work in this. Awesome. Success at last. Right, so we've had partial success. It seems to be the way when we're reviewing these Gemini things, everything is a partial success, not a complete success. Don't know if I'm just a prompt engineering numpty or more likely that the prompting is just not 100%. But it might be useful for us, especially something more complex or a complex PDF and then scheduling those events. Then we're looking pretty good.